Okay, I've got a different mat today. That's exciting, isn't it? Different spider mat. Okay, so uh, a commenter was asking me about their power switch. Here's what he said. Now, I don't know why a power switch breaks. Probably because you've turned your DS on and off too much. But uh, as you know, a working power switch you just about to see this let's zoom in a little bit for you a working power switch on a ds doesn't stay on and off it just pushes on for a little bit and then clips back into place and you see that springs back into place on its own i don't have to do that that is a working power switch now inside the ds there is a switch you can just see through my clear shell here, you can just see the metal bit of the switch behind it. And there's a little uh, black peg that comes out of the switch. And then this plastic switch slides that peg. So someone said that their power switch had stopped working. Now, of course, it could be something with the battery. But if you've had your DS apart, the chances are you might have killed the power switch when you put it back in. It's not always the case, but just look, here's a, here's another one. If you've watched my channel, this is my, uh, one of my Japanese uh, ones that uh, I've still got to fix. But this power switch, it's not springy anymore, you see? It's just there, it's just like a piece of plastic flopping from side to side. That's because it is just a piece of plastic flopping from side to side. So let's just take this. I've undone all the screws previously on this, but let me just take this apart gently. It should come off. And if I take this off as it is, inside there's this little slidey piece of plastic and that slidey piece of plastic is the bit that the you move on the outside of the DS and you see that's not springy because the spring is from the actual s switch on the board now why was this flopping backwards and forwards well because I've taken this apart and when I put it back together what happened? Well, this isn't true, really. Um, there was something else with this. But when I let's say when I put it apart, if I didn't make sure that the slidey bit of plastic was perfectly in place, I would break off the little bit of black plastic that's on that. Now, you might be lucky because when you take it apart, if you haven't pushed it down really hard when you put it back together, but you've got it misaligned, um, you might not have broken that but if that's the case normally that slidey doesn't move and the worst thing that you could do with this slidey thing when it doesn't move if you've just taken it apart and put it back together again the worst thing that you could do is force it because that is how you break that black bit of the switch off so let's get a uh, let me get a a board with a working switch on all right so we can see on this board um the switch is there and the little black bit is is on there so when you're putting this together again what you've got to try and keep working is that little black lug there little bit of plastic that switches off the switch has to go exactly in between let me just see that um exactly in between the slidey bit there now this isn't the way you put it back together i'm just showing you this because this is the the best way that i can get to this bit so you can see so when you've got it all aligned perfectly the switch on the outside the plastic on the outside is moving that switch on the inside now, if when you put your DS back together, 
after you've changed the shell or done something that is not pointing towards the front of the machine this is the front of the machine so that switch needs to be pointing at the front if it's at the back what happens is as you put the case back together the switch goes the wrong side now that stops that slidey from working and if you force that slidey what's going to happen it's going to break that switch off isn't it break the plastic bit of the switch so if it's just that point if you put it back together and you try and move the switch and it's stiff take it apart again well, of course you shouldn't ever take your ds apart because this is how you break it but uh yeah so if you see that i could just i actually just lifted the board there and it fell back into the right place so you've got two things if that doesn't move when you've changed the board then don't force it it just means the switch is the wrong side if it moves freely and doesn't spring back you've probably broken your switch I've got other videos showing you how you can have a go at fixing your switch but to be honest the best thing to do is just to buy a spare board off eBay the one that works from someone but yeah thank you for the comment can't remember your name it's here and uh, I'll see you in the next video about DS's don't forget to subscribe, it helps.